Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate tutorial. Okay, so I got asked a very good question today, and I figured I would do a video response for it because then everyone else can benefit from it as well. It's basically to do with kind of prioritizing what items go in your bag. Okay, so just to explain, obviously you've got three pages worth of bags, so you've only got kind of, you know, I think like 10 slots per page, something, something like that. The point is you've got limited space. So you obviously don't want to fill up your bag before you go on a quest because when you try and gather from monsters and you try and gather all the items, then you're going to run out of room. So the question is, what do you need to take with you at all times and what can you afford to leave behind? So with that in mind, I would say the first thing you need to have is some sort of healing item, you know, be that a mega potion, a potion or a herb. You need to have something so that if you take damage, then you can heal. So obviously later on, if you're fighting something harder, you can arguably take mega potions, potions and herbs. But, you know, that's personal preference. But the point is you need something to heal yourself. Secondly, you must always have wet stones. You cannot afford to let your weapon get blunt. And if you don't have a means to sharpen it, then it's going to make hunting very, very difficult and very annoying, um, especially if you start bouncing off enemies. So always carry wet stones. Um, additionally, if you're new to the game, I would emphasize this even more so, but make sure you carry paintballs because if you don't know the monster's move patterns and you don't particularly know where it goes, then if it flies off and you don't know where it is, then it's going to take you a while to find it and it's going to be more frustrating than it's worth. So just take a paintball or take a stack of paintballs and always make sure that the, en the enemy is painted and then you'll be you'll be good to go. Um, on top of that, I'd say especially early on, always take a pickaxe, you know, be that an old pickaxe, an iron pickaxe, because whenever you see an ore vein, you should always gather from it because you, you can never have too many ores. They're really good for weapons and armor later on. So what the last thing you want to do is when you want to make a new armor set, go out and be like, oh, now I need to go and gather my ores. You'd much rather say, well, I've got a stack of 60 of them already so always take that um, next up bug nets now that's kind of arguably depends on what you want to do bugs are still used to make weapons and armor so they are arguably just as valuable as ores but I don't tend to use them as much so sometimes I leave bug nets behind but you know that's kind of personal preference on top of that you can obviously pack things like traps and different things like that but that tends to depend on the hunter and the kind of monsters you're fighting you know some people don't necessarily like using traps others you know haven't got the things for them um, the only other thing that is always a necessity but it really depends on the quest is hot drinks and cold drinks obviously if you're in the tundra you need to have a hot drink because you don't want to be losing you know stamina by being cold and similarly if you're in the desert you need to take a cold drink because you don't want to be losing health by being hot so um, just to wrap that up potions or something to heal you whetstones paintballs and a pickaxe and some kind of hot or cold drink those five things are things you must have in your bags at all times everything else is kind of an optional extra there are lots of things that people will take with them and there are lots of things that people will tell you you should also always carry but I would say at all times do not go without those five things and then the rest of the bag space you know either put what you want in it or just leave it for gathering but anyway hopefully that answers your question and hopefully this kind of giving you an insight into kind of the way that I think when I go out hunting um, but as always don't forget to like and share the video it does really help me out and obviously don't forget to subscribe but otherwise thanks for watching take it easy catch you next time peace out